Speaking of peace to all of you brothers and sisters, so today guys, I'm gonna be showing you how I make a ugali. So basically, the original ugali is made of maize, but because we don't have the maize, and it can only be found in Kenya or any part of Africa, so we're going to use a semolina as a replacement of our ugali so yes guys as you can see i'm gonna be showing you i already washed the semolina and i soaked it in water it's not similar with the typical procedure of uh, others the others they used to boil the water first and then put this semolina to the boiling water but me I don't usually practice that because first things first, this semolina has a lot of small rocks. Yeah, so we don't want that because if we eat, sometimes we chew those small particles of rocks. So, yes, I have experienced that. So I have decided why I should not clean it first. Okay, let those small rocks to... Uh, float in the water and then rinse it up and then wash it again for the second time and for the third time we're going to cook it so here you go guys as you can see yeah we're going to transfer this here so now we have transferred it already to prepare for cooking so since the plate of this cooker is hot we started mixing it guys we don't wait until it boiled as I soaked it already in this water so the heat will start and if we don't mix it up guys it's gonna get burned so we just keep mixing it guys and wait we have to be very, very patient in making a ugali. If you want to make an amazing ugali, guys, you have to be patient. So, you'll get the nice result. Similar with our life, <laughs> there is no rush in life. We have to take it easy and think nicely. And then we execute and then we succeed. Otherwise, if you are really rushed in everything, you're gonna get broken you're gonna get failed and that's it the result is failed guys, it's starting to boil yeah once it started to boil you must be very very accurate in mixing it so it will not stick to each other I really love a soft and a little bit wet ugali. I don't like the super hard because I feel like, you know, I'm eating a bread. But if it's soft and little bit watery, I feel like I'm having a puto. <laughs> Kaya ganun siya, guys. It's, it's look like a puto, actually. But in African um, continent, they use it like a kanin, like a rice. So this is the main food that they have in their country, uh, aside of having a fufu. Fufu actually it's from uh, Cameroon, as far as I know. But ugali is the base of the food of all uh, Kenyans, except of rice. They love rice, but they more love ugali. Ugali na parang ugali ng kaflat meat ko. Yeah, so as you can see, it start becoming thick. So we have to lessen the fire on that particular time because otherwise, if we don't lessen the fire, it's gonna get burned and explode. So I'm just trying to melt our coconut oil because we have to keep a little bit hint of coconut oil on this in order for it to be 
uh, shiny and soft. Yeah, see, the, the more it gets thicker, the more it's hard to mix up. But keep mixing it, guys. Keep mixing it. Keep mixing it. So, our oil is a little bit melted now. Mm -hmm. Why it explode? Because of the heat and the high temperature. So, we just put a little bit amount, like one spoon. And then, mix it up. This is so healthy because, as you know, the benefits of this ugali is very good to our uh, health. I mean the semolina itself. If you read the semolina benefits, yeah, it's really good for dieting. But you must take a right quantity, guys, okay? Don't overeat ugali. <laughs> Anything over is bad to the health, okay? So as you can see, we have removed the ugali from the fire. Because if we don't remove it, the heat of the steel will reflect to our cooker and it will result on burning the ugali. Okay? So as you can see, it is really, really sticky now. And I can sense it's really good. <laughs> so I'll be back with you guys once our ugali is ready. We're going to uh, set it first and make it cold. So once it's cold, guys, I'll be showing you how it looked like. Okay, so I'll be back with you guys later. Bye! On this time, we are started transferring our ugali to our bowl to let it set for about hours. Assalamu alaikum everyone! So welcome back to my YouTube channel guys. So yes, after one hour that we... Uh, set aside our new cooked ugali so here you go guys this is how it look like now i hope you're seeing it in the camera so yes it's really really soft and yes i'm going to show you how I'm, i will transfer this to our small bowl because we're going to eat so this is how it look like. We need a spoon. So look at that guys. How lovely it is. Actually, the good thing about ugali, it is very, very easy to shape. I washed it guys ha huh? I washed my hands So the uh, the big factor that helping to this ugali to shape in a very easy way is because of the oil Without the oil it's somehow easy as well but not that much easy compare with oil so here you go this is how we shape our ugali mm -hmm. just push it more push it more push it more we need to give a good shape yep so here we go guys, our ugali recipe is ready and yes, this is how it looks like. It is very well shaped and I hope you are seeing this in the camera. Yeah, because it's a little bit lighter here because of uh, a lot of light but it's okay I guess. So we're going to try it. See that? 
Bismillah. So soft. And it's like a puto. Talaga. So yes, guys. I hope you like watching this video. And please, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Your channel. And press the notification bell down below. So you get notified whenever I am uploading new video, guys. So till next time. Maasalama. Bye.